All right. So, hello guys. This is Adrian from CH Ignitions. Today we have a uh, OS series seven cylinder that I just made a kit for it to convert to CDI. As you can see on the idle side of it, it's a little bit hard for me to control the throttle with uh, my uh, servo that doesn't trim well. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit hard to do it here. Uh, okay, so. Uh, the prop, it's a 2410, okay, so it's uh, on the uh, high side of the specifications, what the engine says that it will carry, it will do. Um, the setup, magnet ring, sensor ring, uh, mounted there, the sensor ring actually is mounted there with the JB Weld. Bill Carpenter used that for the last 30 plus years. So reason why I liked it like that, because it gives the scale look and it's hidden all back there behind the prop. Okay. Uh, and then I run it nicely to the new CDI. So this is actually the first one running in this, uh, in this way. As you can see, it's a uh, inline. So wires comes out only on one side, and it's done to it's done to be you know fall naturally on the engine cylinder number one, two, three, four, four. Okay, so let's go do it again. Okay, so as you can see, one two, one two three four five six seven. So it goes one two three four five six seven. So you don't have to go to the firing sequences of the radial, so it's just cylinder with a wire number, okay? So that's that. Um, you see what else? It has the automatic advance, of course, and uh, this little guy here, it's gonna show you the activity from the sensor if it gets input from the sensor, okay? So you should see one red and seven greens. Uh, the red, for some reason, on this those LEDs, it's a little bit more uh, visible than the green. So even when it's running, you're gonna see more red than uh, than green, which it should be the other way around. It should be more green than red, but it is what it is. Um, yes, uh, no, <laughs> actually, that is not a uh, power indicator. So when you turn the power on, that will not show that the CDI it's on. I probably gonna work on the version four that might have that uh, that future. So, gotta find a nice way to do it. Um, when you run it on Glow, I strongly recommend you to to go on uh, eight seven point four volts uh, battery. Um, Glow it needs to have a, a little bit more uh, voltage to run right. Don't go over uh, fifteen percent nitro. But the beauty of this is that you can run zero nitro now with the ignition. You can run whatever other fuel you might want to are able to mix. So that will ignite pretty much everything. So after this, I'm going to take the back end of the engine and I'm going to install the new part that I made that will replace the the back end here. It's kind of hard to see all this plate here and it has a carburetor a regular home and garden style carburetor that it gets mounted there behind the engine and pretty much it fits into the mo uh, motor mount so let me try to start it probably right now I've been running my mouth too long and run out of fuel from the carburetor but we'll see so let's just try to start it actually that was pretty good Because I thought that, and no, don't do that. <laughs> and use a glove also. As, as you can see, how easy, how easy it can start.
carburetor needs to be tuned uh, a little bit more for the low side and the transition. But I don't want to spend too much time on it. Just I want to take everything out and put the gas on my favorite, not so. Let me go a little bit more down. Watch it for a little bit to see how well it's gonna idle or it's gonna die. What we're saying that we are at. All right, let's see what we do in the high end. Since it's on the stand, I don't want to keep it too long raised up. Okay, let's watch this. You can see it. Yeah. You can see the LED there. Something came up. Okay. For some reason I cannot focus on it. But you can see the green the green side there also. I think it's running pretty decent now if you put a smaller frap of course you're gonna get to the 8,000 rpm so like I said you know you put the the big prop don't expect to get the 8,000 rpms because it ain't gonna happen all right so okay maybe I, yeah I shut it off too much okay I guess I hit a spot, isn't it? So yeah, I'm not gonna keep too much going on this one. So this is the glow version. 
for the ev uh, not evolution sorry OS series seven cylinder running on 2410 15% nitro idling from a thousand let's call it a thousand to 5800 rpms okay so later on to this evening I might do the the second video with the gas conversion so I will need to let it to cool off take it off of the stand install all that nine yards and do it again thank you guys for watching and come back for more